Now then guys, how you doing? Welcome back and today's a biggie. You know, we've gone out of the Champions League as expected. I will show you that other leg where we played at home at the Rock. However, we've got games against FK Partizani today from Albania. Now it's a home and away leg obviously. We get the opportunity, but we've gone straight into the Europa Conference League as we didn't even get the opportunity to drop down into the Europa League, but it is what it is. These teams in the Conference League should really be at our level anyway, so there may be an opportunity in these earlier stages to push on a little bit, maybe have a little bit of European glory getting out of the first couple of rounds, because like I say, playing in them Champions League playoff places, they were just a cut above, and it just showed the lack of quality we have as a group. But between episodes, we actually managed to win the return leg against Farava 1-0 there. Jake Burton with the goal, we'll have a look at it. So Agumang with the ball, obviously Burton gets into the box. And it's a decent finish from him as well, there you go. And they don't score, like, they weren't clinical enough against us last time. Whatever. We should have easily lost that game 7-8-0 and we didn't win. But we ended up going 3-0 down at their place. But on the return, like I say, a 1-0 victory. That gives me some confidence. When you look at those results there, though... In the preseason, we've just lost 1-0 to Wrexham. We lost 1-0 to Harrogate as well. But we have had a 2-0 victory in there in the friendly as well. However, like I say, Partizani, two games today. Home and away, that's what we'll be doing. We'll forget the Warrant and Nandwich friendly games and just go for those. But there is an opportunity by the end of this episode for us to get in to what is the third qualifying round. So we've still got a couple of rounds to go, even if we get past Partizani today. However, it's another taste of European football. So a couple of transfers in, then the first player through the door is Dominic Smith, I mentioned him in the last episode, comes in as a centre-back, 27-year-old Welshman, current ability 2.5 star, potential ability 3 star, decent player, head mark and tackler, 9 and 10s, and we got him in from a free transfer from Southport, where he actually played 32 times in the National North League in England last season. And then I brought in another Smith, the 21-year-old Scotsman, Lennon Smith, who can play out as a left-back. He's decent, current ability 3 star, potential ability 5 star. Like I said before, it's hard to read on those attributes if they're going to be any good or not. But we brought him in from Blackburn United, which was based in the lower leagues of Scotland. But he did start off his career at St. Johnson. You never know, he played 34 appearances in each of his last two seasons for Blackburn United. We'll just, we'll just see, he's not going to be a regular starter, I would say anyway. As we've obviously got Hartshorn, who can play out on that left-hand side and has been a regular starter over these last couple of seasons or so. Right, so here we go then, leg one away from home at Albania. Now, like I say, Partizani, what are these are about? Are they any good? Let's have a look. So looking at the general then, like for like, they've actually got a two-star reputation. Remember, we've only got the one. But what are their key players like? So they haven't actually got any. That means they've just got a full team of grade out pleasure. Let's have a look at the striker. Any good? He is good. I'd take him any day. What about centre-backs? No. So, so in fairness, we'll just click on any more random ones, see if they're... So they're about a similar level to ourselves. When we look at it here, doesn't it say we should win this one at a counter? So there's an expectation that we should be winning this game anyway. So team selection-wise for this game, then we're going with Hughes in goal, Robert, Smith, Levert and Hamilton at the back, with Leverett and Bayo in the middle, Robles and Giassi out wide, with Williams and Burton up front. Williams didn't do too much for us since joining in the January transfer window last season, played six times, no goals. Obviously, the season before for Newtown, he's prolific, scoring 20 goals, so he needs to get off the mark nice and early in today's game. Right, so what am I telling the guys today? Everyone expects us to lose here. The pressure is on them. What have we got to lose? Right, that's what we're telling the guys. Apparently, we're the underdogs, even though, you know, the pre-match stuff was how we should beat them. Highlight, then, in the first couple of minutes. We don't want to be conceding early. Away from home. Not that away goals count, but, yeah, we don't want to be conceding early anyway. Maluku, then, with the ball across. Gashi, then. Maluku's unmarked. It's right, the goalkeeper. What a save that is. Point blank range. But Hughes keeps it out. Right, throw in then. It's a long throw. Get it headed clear. We don't. We lose our gash. He's got loads of time. And he blazes it over the bar. He should be scoring then. Right, so two early opportunities to Partizani. They've had four shots, two on target. 46% possession now, but we've had one shot and we haven't done a lot with it. There's plenty of goals going in on those other games. Rosenborg in there against AIK. There's some big teams in this round as well. Bohemians in there against Payak. But it looks like we may be going to half-time at 0-0. I say that, and there's a highlight. Giassi with the ball in then. Goalkeeper spills it. We scored! Bayou, it's a goal. Linesman keeps it. Oh, somebody has called it. Has he called it off? It's been disallowed. Drama. And there's another highlight, basically, straight away. Zephy with the ball in. Get that ball headed away. We do. Leverett then brings it down. It's a long ball over the top. Is Burton going to get there? He's got the legs. Burton by himself, though, as we're ploughing forward. Ball across. Williams with the header over the bar. But a decent breakaway, a good counter. 
Can't believe we've had the goal disallowed. We've now had five shots, none on target though. We've rode some early pressure, but we go into half time, nil nil. That was a very good first half performance. Keep it up. Tactically, is there anyone having a shocker? Hamilton there on a 6.4 isn't great. L Robles as well on a 6.5. I've got Stokes on the bench. I think we'll get Robles off Stokes on. And we'll start the second half as it is. I'd take a nil-nil here. You know, they come out the blocks. They really did Partizani early. But we're back into it now. We've had seven shots. Only the one on target though. And the goal disallowed us. Giassi then with the ball in. Burton. And it's off the bar. That's a big, big miss for us. As there is another highlight then. Right, Stokes on it. Can he be the difference? He's got the pace. Beat your man. Go for it. As Robertson on it. And we've gone all the way back to Smith, who's making his debut today. Right, Roberts then. Smith. Ball over the top. Oh, on no, Williams is free. He needed a goal, and he's hit the bar as well. We've, he should be scoring then. We should be at least a goal up here, as we're still on that cautious mentality as well. Right, I've got to make some changes. I've got two more changes to make with 11 minutes to go. Reynolds is going to come off for Bayo in the midfield. Agimang for Giassi. There we go. Confirm the substitutions. Can they make a difference in the final 11 minutes? But again, I would take a nil-nil from this game. We've had our chances. They've had some also. So a draw on reflection is probably a fair result. We go into the last couple of minutes of stoppage time. It disappears. We had 13 shots, but only one on target. That 8-3. and three. Their goalkeeper actually got played a match with a 7.5. Use for ourselves got a 7.3. That was a very satisfying result. Nobody give us a chance. And there we go then. So Wayne Edward Williams says, for all the prayers of the defence, we were appalling elsewhere. I don't think that's the case. We were decent. Yeah, we had a couple of chances, but at least we were creating those chances. Billy Dooley says our forwards couldn't finish a sentence, let alone a guilt-edged chance. All right. And the headlines is that Partizani hold out for a draw, so they hold out for a draw in that one. Smith makes his debut. Williams still searching for his first goal. Williams maybe not start the second game. Obviously, we've got Roach who can play as well. Right, so here we go then. Game day two then. We are at home for this one. Well, I say we're at home. We're played at the race course ground. Obviously, the rock doesn't meet up to expectations and regulations in fairness. But yeah, we've got a big game coming up today as I'm going to stick with an unchanged team. So we're going to go using goal. Robert Smith, Lever and Hamilton with Leverett and Bayo in the middle. Robles and Giassi out wide. I think we'll go Stokes there, actually. And then obviously, I've got Williams. I'm going to put Roach up top as well. So maybe not an unchanged team then. As like I say, Roach may be the difference today. So what's been said in the social roundup then? Ross Allen says, glad to see Burton starting today. He fits the team like a glove. Rory De Silva says, can't believe Smith is starting today. He looks shattered. He's only played one game for us. The pressure is all on them. What we got to lose, so come on then. Right, so here we go then. We're obviously lined up 4-2-4 four, four, as we've seen. Partizani on the other hand. What's the drill there? They're going to play a five at the back, three in the midfield, two up front. They had opportunities in the last game. I'm not oblivious to that. So we've got 90 minutes to keep our European dream alive. There's not a lot happening in the first 15 minutes. Shouts wise then, I'm going to encourage your team. Hamilton is knackered. So is Leverett. Leverett's taking a knock in the midfield. So a forced change as it stands then. What's going on with Leverett? Potential lower leg injury means I need to make the change. Reynolds will come on there. Easy change that one. Hopefully that doesn't change the complexity of the game. As you have a highlight then, Burton in possession and we turn it over in the midfield. Reynolds, who's just come on. Puts a bit of pressure on Salaku then, on a yellow. Reynolds is going to nick it here. Come on, Reynolds. Like, what are you playing at? Right, Gashi then. To Demiri. They've got a player over the top who's trying to stay on side. Salaku. So much space in the midfield. Bajrami at the byline. Decent ball to Barisha. Three players in the middle. There's a play free there. Should they have a go? And he's selfish. Curls it over the bar. My team are absolutely shot. Roberts then, with the throw. Nobody challenges. Braja. Ball across. The long throw obviously not work. We might have to look at that tactically. Right, Gashi across then. To Bajrami. Can we get a foot in Barisha? And it's all the way back again. They're just looking at that ball over the top. Barisha then, to Salaku. There's an opportunity should we press a little bit harder. They go out wide though. Braja on a yellow. Ball across. Got to be our ball. We don't get there. Sayo. Demiri from distance. And it's off the bar. And it's just gone over. Wowzers. We're living on edge a little bit here. They've had four shots, one on target. We've had four and two. But not a lot going on. My team, like I say, are dead on the feet. We'd 45 minutes still left to go as well. Bajrami then. To Salaku. We've seen plenty of the ball. 
Literally every highlight we're seeing at the minute is just like a carbon copy. Gayashi then. And Zephy again. It's back with Salaku. We're chasing the ball down. We're nowhere near it though. Berisha. Maybe a 1-2 on here. As there is. Berisha from distance. The keeper. He's gone underneath him. Use though. Makes a save as they hit the post. Use really slow to go down. And we could have conceded there in first half stoppages. So 0-0 as it stands. I'm happy with our passing so far. I've not really seen us do any passing, if I'm honest, as the rest of the team are dumb. Giassi on a 6.4. Roberts on a 6.4 as well. Agimang Zen going to come on for Giassi. That'll do. That's my second change of the game at half-time. But when you see our average positions, we're really pushing up the pitch here. But it's counting for nothing at the minute. As 10 minutes gone in the second half. We've had six shots free on target. 54% of the possession. Smith is done at centre-back. I don't really want to change my centre-backs, though. Roberts then with the throw to Roach. Stokes. The ball's just booted at him, really. As Burton is there. He's got Scott Burton has missed. Finds himself clear. That may be our one opportunity in this game. Burton should really be finding a net from there. Here we go then. Roach. I said he was going to be the difference. Can he get the goal? Free kick 25 yards out. Has a crack and it's just wide. Another opportunity goes for us. Do not want this going to penalties. 18 of their fans have actually attended the game. The attendance, 843, as that is, we're going into stoppages full time. We're doing very well, keep it up. Start extra time then, I've still got change to make. But my team, when you look there, those those fitness levels are gone. We're going to fire up the guys as there's a highlight then. Ball in, Smith, it's off the top of the bar. We miss another opportunity. This isn't looking good for us, I'll be honest. As we've got 15 minutes left before we go to penalties then, let's start it. I've got a change to make. I don't even think it's worth looking at who's decent at penalties by this point. Right, Lever's going to come off. Raw ball's on. We'll just play a solid three at the back. Right, let's go. We've had 14 shots, four on target. They've had 11 and one. We've had 60% possession. Agumang with the ball in then. Are we going to get anything from this? No. Hamilton picks it up though. They're all penned in the box. Hamilton from... Oh, it's a screamer from Dominic Hamilton. Out of nowhere. 113 minutes. We are 1-0 up. Hamilton's got no right scoring. As we see the ball just getting cleared away. Hamilton's got plenty of time. You think he's going to pick the pass. And he just pulls the trigger. Top bins that one. As you've got eight minutes to hold on. Tactically then. Obviously, I went for it. Right, for me then. Reynolds can actually play as a centre-back. So, we'll go like that. Robles will drop into the middle. We're just going to go 4-4-2. Right, let's go. We're still playing cautiously anyway. As we've got a couple of minutes left, we could see ourselves through here with an absolute screamer from Hamilton. And we get the 1-0 victory. What a game. What a result. Everyone thought we'd lose today, but we've proved them wrong. What a result that is for us. As we make our way through, Elliot Gibson says that was so dull. We had our chances. We get 85k for the win. We get through to the next round. Who are we going to play in the next round? Agmi Yang's injured. He's out for two to three days. Leverett's also out. As we triumph in that game. And we're going to play at Glen Torren. At Glen Torren in Northern Ireland. So a team that we could potentially be going to in the future. Who knows? But yeah, we've got a Northern Irish team in the next round. In the third qualifying round as well. Hamilton impresses. What a goal. What a goal. So looking at the schedule. And obviously that's going to be the next round of game. So yeah, we'll have Glen Torren. Home and away for the next two games as we continue our push in the Europa Conference League. So yes, that's where you join me next time, guys. So thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and I'll catch you later. Ta-ra.